the 700,000 Rand Grade 1 Douglas White Stakes over 1,600 meters at Hollywood Bets Gravel sees a full field of 14 two-year-old fillies go to post, with the unbeaten graded stakes winner Mrs. Geriatrics electing to sit this one out. The race looks open. We go through the top runners in the market, starting with the Lucky Hudolakis trained Egyptian Mao. Number 9, Egyptian Mao, won her maiden by two lengths when going 1,200 metres at Turpentine. That was a smart win, Egyptian Mao. She was since seven lengths fourth, but this time against the Colts in the Grade 1 Gold Medallion at Hollywood Bed Scottsville in June, before finishing four lengths third to Mrs. Geriatrics in the Grade 1 Zulu Kingdom Explorer Golden Slipper on Hollywood Bed's Durban July Day four weeks ago. Yes, she's doing well, she's looking well, she'll be travelling up Saturday and yes, all we're just hoping for, we haven't got a favourable draw again, but I've got an experienced guy on her and we just got to hope that things go a bit better for us than the last two starts which didn't go too good, she found a lot of problems in the races. She's well, we just need a bit of luck on our side to conquer the draw, I'm expecting her to be very competitive. Number 12, Secret Identity, has won two from four starts. She was a half a length winner in her penultimate, the listed Hollywood Bet Super League Devonair Stakes, over 1,400 metres at Hollywood Bet's Gravel in June. Yes, Secret Identity, coming home large to win. She since finished half a length second in the non black type Bloodstock SA Sales Cup, over 1,300 metres at the same track four weeks ago. This filly's trying to be above average and um, very unlucky in her last start. Having to make up a lot of ground coming into the straight and coming in quite a bit wide. Um, she's now ridden by, by Gavin Arena and we're certainly looking for a, for a very competitive race for this filly. She's in fine form and she'll be a big runner coming Sunday. Number five, Raskova, has won two from seven. Her second win came in her third start, the City of Cape Town Summer Juvenile Stakes, over 1,100 metres at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth in January. There's no stopping Christoph Simeon this afternoon. He storms home to win it. Three graded stakes outing since saw her four length second to Mrs. Geriatrics in her most recent start in the Grade 1 Zulu Kingdom Explorer Golden Slipper at Hollywood Bets Gravel on July the 1st. Raskova second. Yeah, look, it's exciting. Um, uh, I was invited to Lyle's wedding and then I said, well, can you ride Raskova? And it was just so lovely that it all worked out. Yeah, look, her last run, she, she, the gap got very tight with her coming through and um, uh, I think uh, Christoph did a fantastic job in, in pulling it to the left again because uh, yeah, it looked like the gap was not closed completely and, uh, and he managed to get her through and uh, she, she rounded off a race and, and ran second. I think that form line is probably the strongest form line as far as the two-year-olds are concerned. Um, there are obviously some nice fillies in the race that have never uh, run against each other but uh, Raskova is doing really well. Um, yeah, to have champion jockey Lal Yurtsen on, um, she's what a pleasure. Um, she is doing really well at home, we haven't had to do much with her, she's a pretty fit filly, she keeps herself fit as well. So um, we're ready, I think uh, we've seen a little bit of luck in the running. Number four, Distant Winter, has not missed the frame in all six of her starts, winning two, including the Grade 3 Winter Nursery in her penultimate over 1,100 metres at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth in May. But Distant Winter's just trying to get there. She was five lengths fourth in her most recent start to Mrs. Geriatrics in the Grade 1 Zulu Kingdom Explorer Golden Slipper at Hollywood Bets Gravel on July the 1st. She had her first start up at Gravel on July Day. Um, she should have finished a lot closer than she did. She finished fourth, I think. Pierce said that she should have finished um, second that day. He got ended up getting shuffled back further than what he wanted to be. So he had quite a bit of ground to make up in the straights. And that was over the 1400. She's obviously trying the mile for the first time. Um, I think she should see out the mile. Obviously, there is a small question mark about the distance, but she's drawn well. And I think, you know, at Gravel, is, you can always get away with it over the, the tight course there. So she too has come on well from that run. And uh, obviously, you know, Sean's filly's not in there this time. So I think she certainly should be in with a very good each way chance if she sees the distance out well enough. 
Number 6 Bill Cesar has won 1 from 6, having made the frame in all of her starts bar 1. She broke her maiden at the third time of asking by two lengths in a juvenile plate for fillies over 1200 metres at the Vol in May. She was since a half a length second to secret identity in the listed Hollywood Bet Super League Devonair Stakes over 1400 metres at Hollywood Bet's Gravel in June before two and a half lengths fifth in the non-black type Bloodstock SA Sales Cup over 1,300 metres at the same track four weeks ago. Um, she's a, a very, very nice filly and I think that she's done us some favours by running how she has in, in races where the distances were far too short for her. I do believe that the step up in trip is what she's looking for and um, hopefully um, They'll go a little bit slower over the mile and, and she can race a bit more handy than she normally does. Last time she was she was still sitting last at the 400 and she came flying to run a very, very good fifth. Um, and she's also a filly that she's been to Gravel twice, she's done the trip, um, she knows the course, so she's been there, done that kind. Um, we know that she, she handles the crowd well, we know that she handles the trip well. Um, we know that she enjoys the course, so um, very exciting and looking, looking forward to a good run from her. Together. Number two, Africa Let's Go Extreme Now, outside. won her maiden at the Anyone second time of asking before following it up with a quarter length win in a juvenile plate for fillies over 1600 metres at Hollywood Bet Scottsville just two weeks ago. She's progressive and looks to be coming on the right way. Let's go now, powered on from Woodland Glade. Well, let's go now. It's a lovely draw. She's obviously had a lovely prep and, and won her last two. This race may be coming a little early for her. I think she's going to be a better filly next season. I think she might even turn out to be a nice um, classic filly in terms of distance. And uh, obviously the two draws going to help her because she is still immature. Um, obviously lovely to have Keegan DeMello on, he's going to have to give her a patient ride to let her find herself and um, hopefully she'll be running on. Uh, she definitely needs to improve a few lengths to have a, to have a chance here but she has come on with her racing and she's improving all the while. Number 11, Patina Princess, has not missed the frame in her four starts, winning two. She's by previous champion two-year-old Colt in Japan and now sire, Danon Platina, who's enjoying a great freshman year in South Africa. Platina Princess was a narrow winner of her last start, a juvenile plate for fillies, over 1,200 metres at Hollywood Bates Gravel in June. Very close, Platina Princess, a last nod. I don't think she's got an issue with a mile at all. She just got going late last time to get up and win. I think she's a very nice filly and I wouldn't leave out of anything. These two-year-old races are quite tricky sometimes because you just don't know how horses develop and perform. So what would your advice be for people to look at the horses on the day? No, I, I, would, I would very much go with current form. Um, you know, these, these two-year-olds by this time of the year now are sort of fairly exposed. Yeah. but. Uh, you probably want to go wide in races like this.